राजा कम्युनिटी सेंटर के राजा आजाद गुल के जेर एहतमाम पाक सादिक कम्युनिटी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन की नायला जाफर के इश्तराक से कायद अजम मोहम्मद अली जिना क्रिसमस समेत हॉलीडेज और नए साल के सिलसिले में अजीम शान पार्टी का एहतमाम किया गया इस पार्टी में न्यू यॉर्क सिटी के कमिश्नर बाई इमिग्रेंट अफेयर फेडक्राइजमैन चीफ माइकल कैंपर फार्मर ब्रुकलिन चीफ नाव एन वाई पी डी ट्रांसिट चीफ असिस्टेंट चीफ चार्ल्स मैक ओवर कमांडिंग ऑफिसर पेट्रोल ब्यूरो ब्रुकलिन साउथ समेत आला पुलिस हुक्म न्यू यॉर्क पाकिस्तानी वाइस कौंसल जनरल नवाब आदिल खान समेत कम्युनिटी की अहम शख्सियात की बड़ी तादाद में शिरकत स्पेशल थैंक्स टू इंस्पेक्टर रिचर्ड टेलर कमांडिंग ऑफिसर ऑफ कम्युनिटी अफेयर्स सिटी वाइड एंड डिप्टी इंस्पेक्टर अदील राना प्रेजिडेंट मुस्लिम ऑफिसर्स सोसाइटी एंड लेफ्टिनेंट आयरा जबलॉन्स्की कमांडिंग ऑफिसर ऑफ कम्युनिटी अफेयर्स ब्रुकन साउथ एंड कैप्टन वहीद अख्तर पार्टी में बानिय पाकिस्तान कायद अजम मोहम्मद अलजना बर्थडे का केक काटा गया राजा कम्युनिटी सेंटर के चेयरमैन राजा आजाद गुल की बर्थडे का केक भी काटा गया और क्रिसमस हॉलीडेज और हैप्पी न्यू ईयर के केक काटे गए फूटा ढोल वाले के ढोल की थाप पर मुआज मेहमानों का देसी स्टाइल में खैर मकदम किया गया पाकिस्तान कौंसलेट से मोहतमा आयशा अली नवाब आदिल राना सईद मार्क होम केयर के यासिर खान जकिया खान फ्रॉम हैप्पी फैमिली सोशल एडल्ट डे केयर अलीना बादशाह रेस्टोरेंट मोहम्मद अरशाद फेमस साइंस आप सबके तावन और खिदमात का बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया लजीज खानों के लिए पंजाब रेस्टोरेंट का बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया प्रोग्राम में शरीक पाकिस्तानी कम्युनिटी के मुआजीन और मीडिया का भी बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया तकरीब का आगाज तलावत कलाम पाक से हुआ साहबजादा पीर सैयद मीर हुसैन शाह चिश्ती ने आयात कुरान की तलावत की
हर कुछ में कमाल रखा है ए खुदा तुम्हे संभाल रखा है मेरे आँखों पर पर्दा डाल के मुझको रक्षों में ढाल रखा है अपनी हस्ती से करके वस्ता हर मुसीबत को डाल रखा है मैं तो कब का मिट गया होता तेरी रहमत ने पाल रखा है इन कम ऑन द स्टेज फॉर द ताहर खान ग्रीटिंग्स डियर गेस्ट On December 25, 1876, Muhammad Ali Jinnah was born in present-day Pakistan. He created Pakistan. Jinnah created a Muslim League Congress. Today we celebrate his success in creating an Islamic country. Today we celebrate his birthday. We are very delighted with his work on creating Pakistan. Pakistan is in the past. Are coming for the. Before proceeding, we would like to highlight some of Muhammad Ali Jinnah's accomplishments. One of them was that he was a politician and the founder of Pakistan. He was a successful lawyer and was the only Muslim barrister in Mumbai. He served as the leader of the All India Muslim League from 1930 to 1947. He passed away a year later on September 1948. So sadly. Next child, Sain Mahmood, can you come on the stage? Assalamu alaikum, my good evening, dear guest children and fellow Pakistanis. Today we are all gathered here to celebrate one of the most famous iconic leader of history. Today we celebrate Qadir Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah's birthday. Jinnah was the first president of Pakistan and declared the independence of Pakistan. He believed in unity, equality, and peace. Jinnah's favorite quote and enemy of today is a friend of tomorrow. Stay his unity and forgiveness. Next child, come to the Maliha Shay. Muhammad Ali Jinnah was born on 25 December 1876 at Wazir Mansion in Karachi, in India, now in Pakistan. He received his early education in Karachi and later went to London, England for future study of law. Thank you. Thank you for the children. 
we have more uh, uh, in, in our program, so hopefully we'll get to hear the rest of the children later. Uh, I want to start this program with the person that was in Brooklyn South for some good time. And he was always there for every community, working together, giving resources, and being a phone call away. I know he moved on to bigger and better places, but he knows his home is still in Brooklyn South. Um, without further ado, I would like to call Chief of Transit, Chief Michael Kemper. So good evening, first off, and thank you for having me here. You just said, uh, this is my home. I am home, and it's, it's nice to be home surrounded by good friends, both in the department, priests and commanders, detectives, detective uh, commanders, uh, both in the NYPD and my friends from the community. Raja, I, I see Raja, happy birthday. Thank you, Ed. Raja's birthday is birthday. And Raja's wearing his uh, Al Capone uh, dance to see tonight to, for the celebration. I'll, I'm gonna be very quick. It's very nice to be here. It's always nice to be surrounded by, by, by true, true friends. Roger, you've been a true friend of mine from the, the, the first day I met you. The entire Pakistani community. Thank you so much for accepting me when I came here. Thank you for working with all of us in the NYPD. It's a team effort. It's a team effort. Public safety is a, a shared responsibility. We hear that uh, phrase a lot. And it's really true, and I'm so happy to say, and proud to say as I reflect upon my experience and my time in Brooklyn South, such a strong working relationship and, and, and bonds between the Pakistani community and the NYPD, and we just need to keep that going. Um, thank you for recognizing the men and women of the NYPD, as you always do. And with that, that's all I have. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chief. You know, Brooklyn South is lucky it was in good hands, and it continues to be in good hands with the new leadership. Um, we'll get to hear from the new leadership soon, and um, but before we start and we go further, I'm going to call Commissioner of Community Affairs, Fred Kreisman, if you can say a few words. Thank you very much. Salam alaikum. Good evening. Uh, truly a pleasure being here representing the mayor and the capacity commissioner, community affairs from the mayor's office, and I'm joined here by senior advisor to the mayor, Jill Eisdorfer. Truly a pleasure to be here with uh, such in inspiring leaders, with, uh, like the MOS president, the eight four commander, Inspector Adil Rana, and uh, leadership of Iman Tahir from the, uh, from the chaplain from the NYPD, and of course, the NYPD boasts leadership. Within the, from the Muslim community with five commanding officers and NYPD four of the Muslim faith. So we're just uh, showing you how the MOS Society, for example, has grown. As we come together today to celebrate the birthday of Muhammad Ali Janine, uh, we, we have many commonalities with Raj here, both celebrating their birthdays. Just uh, together as the uh, as Muhammad was the the uh, ambassador of unity, Raja is our ambassador of unity, bringing together communities of different faiths, bringing together law enforcement, uh, emulating the, the leadership of the, the founder of Pakistan, and we see him embodied in you, Raja. So as we celebrate the birthday, we celebrate not only the birthday of the founder, but also your birthday and your friendship. So we have the admiration, deep respect for you, and the deep appreciation of the administration for this community, for being side by side with this mayor, and the devotion, and you could just see it by the people who are here representing the city, not only the mayor's office, but also the leadership of NYPD, a person that, the Brooklyn South produces sometimes the best people. We have Chief Kemper, who is moving, uh, leaving uh, from his role as the chief of community, uh, of this community of Brooklyn South, but also uh, the position of a three-star chief, soon. And then uh, as the head of transit, we have a person with the leadership skills that was entrusted after 33 years to be the new chief of Brooklyn South. 
and I'm joined by other leaders here from the department, from Community Affairs Bureau, uh, the, the Community Affairs Bureau. We have the, the chief here, Tarantino. We have uh, Inspector Taylor and uh, other inspectors, uh, as well as leadership from the borough with Ira Jablonski from Community Affairs and all the Community Affairs officers, the leadership from the commanding officers, a deep appreciation for all that do so much from the, from the NYPD to protect this community, but nothing could be happening without the partnership of the community. So a sincere appreciation to all of you working side by side with this administration, with this police department, and thank you for all being here today. Thank you. Fred, if you don't mind, can you please come back up? Um, the other person I'm going to introduce is Mayor Senior Advisor uh, Joe, who's a great friend to our community and also a good advisor to the, the New York City Mayor. If you can please come up, um, Raja, can you please come up for the award? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's hiding in the back. Can you please come up, Alibad? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the surprise award. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the next awardee is the person that I was just speaking about that we work this out is in good hands. Um, you know, just before the program was starting, we were talking about uh, diversity and we were talking about Muslims in the NYPD. And Fred, you know, Chief Valentino, you know, everybody was highlighting that we have six Muslim CEOs um, in the NYPD and many more to come. You know, this is what we're talking about, the, the diversity. Um, and happy to announce that the recent captain's test, there were at least 25 to, between 25 to 30 Muslims that passed the test, which is a big number. So our, as our community is growing, so is our membership in the NYPD. Um, and this is why it's important to do all these programs so the leadership sees the Muslim officers, um, they see the, the talent that they have to offer, and this way we can have the same seat as anybody else does. So our next uh, awardee, and I would like him to say a few words, and he doesn't need an introduction, but he is going to be leading Brooklyn South. So it'd be great to hear from him, Chief Charlie McElroy. Is, Roger is the true definition of a community partner. And he's always been there for us, all the members of the NYPD and his organization, always been there. Um, just a little, I am beyond thrilled to be the borough commander of Brooklyn South. It's something I do not take lightly. Um, it's more special to me because Brooklyn South is a place where I started my policing career, right in the 7 precinct, right here. So it makes it that much more special. Um, the, we're looking forward to working with everybody in the future. Um, happy holidays to all, and uh, looking forward to working with you in 2023. Everybody enjoy the evening. Thank you. Our next person is also from Brooklyn South. 
who's the other aspect of policing. When you make a report, someone has to investigate it. And he, his people are the one that investigated all your complaints and making sure that the people that do some type of crime are held accountable and, uh, and investigation is done to arrest them and present it to the district attorney's office. So, Chief Galata, if you don't mind, please say a few words. How are we doing tonight? Uh, it's truly an honor to be here uh, at this event, uh, surrounded by tremendous police officers, police executives. Um, I will say this, uh, working with Chief Kemp over the last uh, couple of years while he was here was a true treat. And now I have a, the true honor of working with a real close friend of mine, uh, Chief Charlie McAvoy. This borough couldn't be in better hands. Uh, we're very lucky to have him as our leader. Um, and I thank you for having me here tonight and for the award. Thank you. responsible for one another and this type of events are so needed so I applaud Roger for what he does I hope you continue it one day hopefully I'll give you flowers and we'll call it a day thank you very much
next awardee is also no stranger to our community. He's been into the Muslim community so much that we call him half Muslim. Um, just don't let his parents know. Um, Inspector Ricky Taylor, if you can come up. presented a, a mayoral proclamation to somebody who stepped in to, uh, to an assault on the subway uh, just recently. A Muslim female on the subway at Union Square was assaulted for being Muslim. And that's something that, that right from the top, the mayor himself recognized the heroic actions of a person who bystander who saw that, who stepped in, and arrest was made. So I know Inspector Rana, we just stay at City Hall with it just means that um, together, unity, partnership, that we come together, we, we stand up for one another. And it's truly an honor. Raja, as I say it, Raja number one, we bring everyone together. Uh, thank you for the work that you do every single day. No one's brought me to more mosques. I think I've gone to maybe more mosques than synagogues. Thank you to Raja and the leadership at the table here, you know, as you saw from uh, Chief McAvoy. Chief Talentino, Commissioner Clevin, Chief um, Glada, you know, from Texas, Victor Perry, you have, a, you have a tremendous, tremendous ship here. And uh, just two things. One, always Roger number one, and two, Pakistan Zindabad! <laughs> Please, can you come in the middle so people can see you? Come in the middle. 
So our next awardee, I would like to call Captain uh, Jangir Ashraf Muhammad Ashraf from Kansas District 12. He's got a lot. Thank you, everyone. I'm from the Bronx, as Deputy Inspector Ron said, and that shows you how popular our Raja Azad is. Uh, he's not only Brooklyn bound, he's citywide. So all the Pakistani communities throughout New York City, not only they know him, they very well respect him, and you know he's very, very well-renowned leader within our Pakistani community. And thank you for the support for Pakistani community uh, here in Brooklyn. Without the community, our policing job will be extremely difficult. And we appreciate all of your support, and you, all the community people, you have our support. So thank you so much for everyone. Thank you, Raja Zabgul, uh, for this nomination. Our next awardee was another Pakistani Muslim commanding officer from the 630, transit the 630, uh, but unfortunately he had a family issue and he could not make it. So I'll just give him a shout out, Captain Yasser Salim. He was supposed to be here also. Another proud moment for our community. about proud, you know, just a few years back, there were only a handful of Muslims or Pakistani in the NYPD. Now we are growing in thousands. And again, it's because of the community relationship and the connection that the NYPD made with the community to encourage these individuals. Um, and one of those proud moments was when we had our first Pakistani American uh, captain in the NYPD. I'd like, like to give a shout out to Captain Wahid Akhtar for the <laughs> Our He's no stranger to anyone, so would you like to say a few words? No, no, no. Come on. Is that true? I have to say a few words. You know, actually, when I have a mic, I don't let it go. No, it's truly an honored moment, honored moment for me here, standing part of you. Um, 18 years ago, Adil actually was before on the job, and I came after we six months apart. We have never dreamed, and we have never thought, like, you know, Alhamdulillah, with Allah's blessing, that we will be celebrating these moments as we are celebrating tonight here. And we are really honored and humbled to be part of this great department who is protecting and serving all the communities, and literally it is the capital of the world. So, it is an moment for me that Alhamdulillah was the first one for Pakistan who happened to be captain. But we didn't stop there. So today we are honored to have a first Pakistani Deputy Inspector of NYPD, Deputy Inspector of Irana, Bin Harawak. At the same time, last week we had our first Muslim Bangladeshi American Deputy Inspector Abdullah, but my good friend. Congratulations. <laughs> and I would like to acknowledge uh, Brooklyn South is really honored to have Chief McAvoy as our leader. So thank you. <laughs> and I have to say, who truly the race? What I learned. The true leader is not the person that people are afraid of the person and they take a direction. The true leader is who lives in people's hearts and gives a direction and builds a team and gets the job done. And that's what I really have seen and looking forward to Chief McAvoy. Now I have the honor to work with the Chief Tarantino. He was my CEO in a recent. 
I have honor to work with uh, Inspector Taylor. We were lieutenants in Brooklyn North together. I know Inspector Perry when we, he was a lieutenant. So actually in this room, including our Imam Tahir, you know, I'm really honored to have a best company around me, and I'm really honored to have you as a friends and brothers in the police department in the community. So thank you so much for your service and your kind uh, outreach and your mentorship. Thank you. And so when you acknowledge people, you know what, how can you miss the person who really is the man of the hour, who has put this great evening together, and many have done in the past, who has a mission to bring all the community, Muslim community, Pakistani community, Bengali community, Jewish community, Christian community, all communities together at one platform, have an interfaith relationship, bringing police department and communities together, and be the pioneer of the leadership. Thank you so much, and congratulations, Raya Saab, on your great work, and setting up this great evening, and happy birthday to you. Too. And now I'm going to have this last thing, last thing but the least. We have uh, two societies in NYPD. NYPD Muslim Muslim Society <laughs> under the leadership of Deputy Inspector Dean Rana and the Pakistani American Law Enforcement Society under the leadership of Detective Rohit Khalid. They both are leading parallel and trying to make the best strides towards a future and they are the prime example of the leadership and bring it to communities together. Thank you so much for having everybody have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you, Vicky. That was the short version. Uh, that was seriously a very proud moment. It gave a lot of youngsters a lot of motivation, so we're really proud of them. Our next uh, awardee is um, new to Brooklyn South. Lieutenant Butler, if you can please come up. Muslim. Um, Ira, you're amazing for this community. So please, can you come up and say a few words? Don't be like Butler, you gotta say a few words. Alright, good evening everybody. It's good to see everybody. Um, I'll be very, very brief. I just wanted to let you know, I was actually uh, at a mall uh, two days ago. I was one of the smart people that decided to take the family out. It was Christmas, Hanukkah, everything together. They said, let's go out to a mall. It's probably not going to be so packed. And boy, was I wrong. So I'm sitting in traffic on the way home, and I turned to my wife, and I said, you know, it's Roger's birthday. You should give him a call. So I, he said, yeah, it's a great idea. My kids did not let me call Raja unless we all sang happy birthday to Raja together. And that was two days ago. But that's the friends, and that's the family, and that's the connection that Raja builds. He's truly a, a, men he's a mentor. He's a mentor in every community. He's, he's, he's what it's about. He's the glue that pulls communities together. When Chief McAvoy, who, by the way, this borough is truly blessed, the department is truly blessed to have, came and he wanted to 
he wanted to meet the community, the one person we didn't have to take him to or introduce us to Roger. Because Roger makes those inroads already. There's nobody that Roger doesn't know, doesn't get along with, doesn't go and make a connection with. He's truly a blessing. He's a blessing to us all, and thank you so much for making this event and making things happen. Roger, you're amazing. And I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to go with the, the executives around this table. It's like having an all-star team. It's like having the, the true winners of a World Series team, a true, like the true leaders of a Super Bowl. This is the ultimate of ultimate the leaders in this borough. I've been here for a little bit, and you really have what it takes to make everything happen in this borough. So we're really, truly blessed. Chief McAvoy, Chief Galata, Chief Colantino, uh, you know, Inspector Perry, Inspector Taylor. You have it all. It's all here. It's tremendous. Commissioner Kreisman, you have what it takes, and we're truly, truly blessed. All the CEOs, and it's one little last request, please. Please. All the men and women in the back that work in the different places in this borough throughout the city, the guys in this jacket, who literally work 24-7, always answer the phones at our every mosque, synagogue, church. Doesn't, they don't know the word no. It's time to look happy. Thank you so much. Pakistan, Mr. Bob! You know, we have a lot of people in this room, a lot of community, our um, ladies are here, you know, representing our community, so I want to say thank you to them, thank you for being here, thank you to the community leaders that are all here to my left, um, you know, putting all this together is not easy, so yes, Roger put it together, but it's not good until all of you come together and support each other, so thank you for being here. Um, and, and making this successful. And like I would say, the men and women in the back that do all the hard work, you know, they need to be acknowledged also, especially when they're from our community. Um, so the first one I will go is uh, Sergeant from the Detective Squad, Sergeant Zisha Manavo from the 7 Precinct. Can you come up? Our next 
Sakib Bamoud from the 70th precinct. Pakistan. 
So it has been a very great initiative and hopefully it will be a result-oriented function. Uh, let me uh, also acknowledge the efforts of, uh, you know, the entire American Pakistani diaspora is very vibrant and they have done a lot for uh, their Pakistani American brothers and sisters in America and as well as for their for the people who are living in Pakistan. And in the recent past, as you all know, Pakistan has been hit hard by, by floods. And this has been, there has been unprecedented floodings in Pakistan. And I would, although a lot of people have contributed, and uh, hats off to everyone, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them jazai khair. But I, would take, taking this opportunity, I want to acknowledge the efforts of uh, NYPD files and MOS, uh, because they have, uh, they have sent delegations to Pakistan, and they have uh, supported uh, the flood victims. And particularly, I would like to mention uh, Rana Dilsa, and, uh, 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 my brother Rohit, uh, uh, he has been recently to Pakistan and we were, our Consul General and both the NYPD officers, they were in touch with my Consul General and uh, uh, their trip was extremely successful. Uh, so thank you very much on behalf of the Pakistani Consul, we are grateful to both of you. And uh, taking this opportunity, I won't take, I won't stretch my, uh, my, my speech, but just, you know, uh, uh, it's very important to acknowledge the uh, participation of NYP in Pakistani community's function. So there are a few people that I want to acknowledge. Uh, I would uh, especially convey my gratitude to Mr. Chance, who is the uh, Brooklyn South Chief of NYP. And then there is uh, Inspector Richard Taylor. Uh, thank you very much. Then Lieutenant Jiblansky, uh, Inspector Hayward. And then uh, there are two precincts that I want to particularly mention, to be specific, three precincts, 70 precinct, the 66th and 62nd precinct. Thank you very much for looking after our community and looking after humanity. Thank you so much. Have a nice evening. Thank you, Anusha. You know, before we go to the next portion of our program, I just want to say, you know, thank you. In, in every program that people were mentioning that the Raja has put together, it's always been including every community. And I want to say, from the Asian community, Louis Noon is here. Thank you for being here. We got Hezi Blanca from the Jewish community. Um, I know Doug was supposed to be here, but he provided the kosher food. Um, and then, you know, we have, this is what you're talking about, the interfaith and, and different nationalities coming together and, uh, and celebrating uh, all the occasions together. Um, so before we come to conclusion, I, I, you know, we can't go along without hearing from a good friend um, who's been in Brooklyn South, you know, at numerous commands. Um, and he loves the Pakistani community, Inspector Joe Hayward. Thank you, Roger. Yeah. Ro I've known Roger for 10 years, and uh, like we were saying before, how good the uh, executive leadership team is here, which they are, they are great. The 707167 Labor Day weekend, not one incident, and that's not only because of the cops, it's because of the great relationships with the community. So give everybody a hand in the community. You guys are great. And I just wanted to recognize the cops back there, too. The cops, who's my officer? Officer Zaid, where are you? Mubash Zaid, come here. Step up. If you're Muslim, if you're Christian, if you're Jewish, if you're black, if you're white, if you're Asian. Officer Zaid here, 42 gun arrests in the last 18 months. Alright? And, and, and I'm sure, I'm sure when he's rolling around with
we're bad guys, we're not thinking about if my partner is Jewish, if my partner is black, my partner is white, because we're all brothers. And that's the same way when we got trouble in the community, I don't worry about who I, I reach out to my brother Roger, I reach out to my brother Louie, and everybody else in the community. So thank you so much. Thank you, Inspector. And trust me, you always advocated. Zayed. He always advocated for Zayed, and I'm telling you, he's, our, he's received the award from the community in numerous events, and soon to be sergeant, hopefully. He sc scored really high on the sergeant's list, so looking forward to you know, welcoming you into the leadership uh, role. So a great uh, moment and a pride moment for all our community, so thank you. And thank you. Inspector always speaks highly of you wherever he goes, no matter what. Your name always comes up, so that means a lot, you know, for not only for you but all, to all our community. So thank you very much. You just got to transfer. Anyway, you just got to transfer to the bar. he's a great person. Um, I would like to welcome um, Jeffrey Stern, attorney. If you can say a few words. You want to say Uh, want to wish Raja, he's a new friend, but feels like I've known him my whole life. I guess that's kind of how everyone in this room feels when they meet Raja. He takes you in, he invites you to a, a personal event like this. Raja and I don't know each other for that long, but like I said, it feels like it's been a while and I'm looking forward to being at many similar events. Wishing all the honorees congratulations on your well-deserved honors. Enjoy the night. Today I would like to the 
highlight of the importance of how in our lives the holidays bring and this is the symbolized by Santa clothes where children leave and party for their wishes come true. Our objective to keep working to make children happy as a new year. Happy New Year and Merry Christmas. Advisory Council Member at the Mayor Office for the Samila Road. Please come on the stage. She really put together and she's working so hard for our community and I would like to be thanks all the officials, all the uh, NYPD officers and I'm honored to elect a uh, mayor office as a Asian, Af Asian Affairs Advisory Council. I'm a member, a proud member. Thank you so much everyone.
Thank you, Mr. Nagas, as well. God bless you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you so much. And next question for the American law enforcement for the rotate. Please come on the stage. For a second, can I have everyone's attention at the back, please? First of all, I would like to thank uh, Mr. Raja Zadbo. He's working on this program since last month. I know he reached out to me, and we always here for you, sir. Thank you for your services. You're always there for the community, and especially for the police. Rana Said Sab, Aziz Bhatt Sab, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Like you already know, there's a Pakistani American Law Enforcement Society. Brother Bahid already mentioned the Muslim Officer Society, we have over almost 2,000 members. But also, because it's a Pakistani event, we have a Pakistani American Law Enforcement Society. We have over 500 members, and recently, last captain exam, we have eight new Pakistani captains, inshallah, next few years. Inshallah. inshallah. <laughs> At the same time, I would like to acknowledge our friend, our brother, Deputy Inspector Abdullah, you know, whenever I look at him, you know, we used to patrol together. Don't forget that. Soon to be Inspector, maybe another year. Recently, about the Pakistani flood, we all know what happened in Pakistan. Muslim officer society went above and beyond, and also Pakistani American Law Enforcement Society. I want to acknowledge Chief Tarantino, but you're not the only one, sir. Everyone, including, you don't have to point me, there's another guy we have to point out. My Chief, Joseph Gavara. Both of you, if you don't mind, if you stand up, I want my community to look at you and acknowledge you guys, what you guys say. Guys, these are the two people. Pakistani American Law Enforcement Society were able to collect five 40 feet containers. That's worth approximately one million dollars. It was all possible because of NYPD, all the precincts collected that. Thank you, sir. Thank you for providing those p -wans. We use them, and community, everybody appreciate that. Guys, um, at the end, I just want to say, Stay united, help each other out. Pakistani community, Muslim community. You know what? We have a lot of rising stars. And I want to acknowledge one and only Captain Wahid Akhtar. Thank you, sir, for what you're doing for the community. And our new commanding officer, Jangi Rashida. He was the previous past president. Because of him and because of Zahid Mahmoud, we were able to move up. At the same time, I want to acknowledge the new chief. Chief McElroy, welcome, sir. Welcome to this borough. Our members are the most hardworking. Chief Joseph Lada already tried to help a few people. You already know there are two people. We always mention their name. Hopefully they, you know, get recognized one day. One got 80, obviously involved in the 80 gun arrest. Zubair Khurram, and the other one, we already know, Bashir Zahir. And I just want to say thank you, Chief. What are we trying to do? We really appreciate it. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice day. Pakistan. Good luck. Thank you. Some wonderful moments with family, all close friends. I appreciate your presence. I hope you are enjoying the season and had a wonderful Christmas. Thank you so much.
Just one more, just one more. You know, as we continue, you know, I'm looking around and I, I think I forgot one very important person when we're talking about proud moments as people are moving up. But Captain Al Tony, Mohammed Al Tony, he come in the middle, people see you. His new addition to Book Us Out is the executive officer of 61 Precinct. You know, thank you for being here. Another proud moment for our community. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Good evening. Brother uh, happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you for having us. बार बार ये दिन आए ही दिन दिन साल के दिन हो पचास हजार राजा भाई God bless you with good health thank you आप हमारे community के लिए बहुत बड़े asset हैं thank you आप हमेशा हमारे साथ खड़े हैं as a woman owned business we always rely on राजा भाई and after राजा भाई our NYPD thank you thank you guys for whatever you do for us thank you we are safe in the community our businesses are safe and everybody around the community just feels like NYPD is their home. Thank you. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Those are the real hard workers, but thank you for acknowledging everyone here. Obviously, our new chief, very fortuitous of me to say a few words in front of him. Thank you, everyone, and um, enjoy the rest of your life. And happy birthday to uh, Muhammad Ali Jinnah. Happy birthday to you, and uh, happy holidays, everyone. Thank you. And, and, uh, and a happy day, everyone. Please, Jibran, come on the stage. Assalamu alaikum everybody. Assalamu alaikum everybody. That's more like it. I want to thank Raja Community Center as well as Fox the Beat Center for hosting us together, for building bridges with our police community, with our law enforcement partners. And I'm going to keep it really brief because I know people are waiting for the food. I want to give a special shout out to Mr. Raja Azad Good. He calls me his son, sometimes he calls me his nephew, but I look at him as a father figure, and he's a great guy. Can we please get a big round of applause for him? Thank you. Is 
جسم حضور آ جائے خزا رسی
thank you very much for uh, you came and you take out the time and you came as for us. Thank you very much and Merry Christmas, Happy Holiday and thank you for joining us. Now we're going to pray and after the pray we're going to open the food and please we have for the guests, we have left hand side food and we have Pakistani food uh, behind, uh, you can see the table. So uh, I want to give to Inspector Rana to close this event and uh, he will call the Chasa for the pray. I think that's the best moment of the, the, the program, when he scares you with the drums. Uh, <laughs> we'll do the closing prayer. Imam Sahib, please say a few uh, words. Assalamu alaikum. Shalom. Good evening. Before pray, let me say a few words. What a beautiful moment. What a beautiful gathering, what a beautiful day. People from all faiths are celebrating the holidays. Christmas, Christians are celebrating Merry Christmas. Jews are celebrating Hanukkah. And we, the Pakistanis, are celebrating the birthday of our beloved leader, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, who created the Pakistan. And also, we are celebrating the birthday of our community leader, Raja Azar Kul. We are all here to please Raja Azad Gul for celebrating his birthday. We all came in this cold weather from all boroughs, especially the NYPD high officials and the community leaders from different organizations, different faiths. We are here to please Raja Azad Gul. But if I say, let's please to our Creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how many peoples and the sisters are willing to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Can you raise your hands? MashaAllah. I am going to invite you that day after tomorrow, Thursday 29th, we have a fundraising dinner in this hall. A few months ago, I purchased a building and converted it into the mosque without involving the bank. It means without interest. Because in Islam, the interest is forbidden. And especially when you buy a mosque, a worship house, a house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there is no any sense to involve any interest. But some people, some wealthy people, they support me and they gave some money which is returnable in couple few coming days. I request all of you that please join us day after tomorrow. In this place, the minimum fee is $200. So please come day after tomorrow and have a dinner with us and I will explain our activities for the community. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the way to understand. Thank you very much. I would like to thank you, Special Community Affairs Bureau, for giving us time for our kids. Special thanks to Chief Max and the entire his team, Inspector Richard, Inspector Perry, 
and every single person from the CAP and the Brooklyn South Community Affair, each and every one, special thank you very much. Pakistan, Zindabad, NYPD, Zindabad, Brooklyn South number one. Let's pray although the all community leaders and the high officials of NYPD, everybody have the pray for all this gathering, but let's say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ask everybody, oh Allah, give us the faith to understand your message and your last prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his message. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless NYPD officials who are protecting us day and night and only away for one call. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from all the enemies and especially at the NYPD. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the faith to be the in community gathering and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give Tawfiq Raja Azad Gul who established the good relation in between all the communities and between all the faith. Wa subhanahu wa ta'ala rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salamu nalal mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Thank you very much. Pakistan Zindabad. and get the food. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Look here. Either they go either. Okay, go ahead, please. Okay. <laughs> Happy birthday to...